Hi, my name is Regina. I'm a registered nurse in the emergency room at ERMAC. I'm here to talk to you today about when it is appropriate to take your child to the emergency room versus a visit to the doctor's office. Since your child, less than 12 months old, is unable to talk to you, things that you might want to watch for at home might be if your child is pulling at their ears, if your child is fussy or unconsolable, if your child is urinating less than they normally do, or if their urine is dark, if your child has dull eyes or they're not bright like they normally are, or if your child is eating or drinking less than they normally would. Fevers are another thing to watch for and be concerned of. If your baby is less than 12 weeks old and has a fever at all, you need to call your physician immediately or come directly to the emergency room. Anytime your baby is over 12 weeks, between 12 weeks and one year old, if they have a fever greater than 100.4, we would recommend that you would call your physician or come directly to the emergency room. There are some situations that we would recommend that you come immediately to the emergency room if your baby is under 12 months old. If your baby has less wet diapers or infrequent urination, if they're vomiting or frequent diarrhea, if your baby is slow to wake up or difficult to arouse, you should bring them into the emergency room. If you hear your baby grunting or wheezing, if they have continual whimpering or moaning and you're unable to console them, if it doesn't sound normal to you, you should bring them directly to the emergency room. If you have an older child between the ages of 12 and 24 months, all of the same concerns apply. However, if you notice that their fever is greater than 102 degrees, uncontrolled by Tylenol and ibuprofen, we would recommend that you call the physician's office or bring them into the emergency room. For preschool age children, many of the signs and symptoms that you're looking for are the exact same. However, they are able to verbalize to you what might be hurting and where they're uncomfortable. If you feel like your baby might be blue, purple around the lips, or unarousable, you should immediately call 911. As a nurse in the emergency department, there are certain pieces of information that are very helpful to enable me to take the best care of your child possible. Things like knowing when you last took your child's temperature and how you took it, what medication you last gave, and when you gave it, and the amount that you gave. What time did you notice your child became sick? Or what time they became even sicker? Also, letting the nursing staff know how they are acting now. If they're sleepy, if they're fussy, and when you feel like those symptoms became worse. We're also interested in any concerns that you might have. Having a paper and pencil ready to let us know the information and being able to keep track of the information we give you is very helpful. We recognize that you as parents are the best advocate for your child. So we recommend if you have any concerns to either call your physician's office or come directly into the emergency room.